A good man goes to what? Well, I really, um, it's hard to really say anything about it. It's It's got good, positive, and negative comments, basically. Basically, I didn't like it. Well, I did like it. I loved it. It was good. It was a good episode. It was very good, but there's tons of negative comments, even though it was good. Like, for example, it was very slow, and it's predictable. It's terribly predictable, and I really don't want to spoil it for people that haven't watched it, Like, because I know that some people get do get peed off when I do spoil things but uh, when you find out who River Song really is I sort of guessed this ages ago and really I'm not impressed well I am impressed because I knew this but it's stupid because of all this <sighs> so yeah I'll move on because I'm being slow myself. It was good because, right, a lot of tension, a lot of action. I liked the monks, the headless monks. Now, they were good. They were really good. Sorry about this, people are talking to me about the thing that I'm just about to talk about, so really there's no point them talking to me. Anyway, yeah, so, bad points, well... Oh, sorry, I'm getting confused, good points, yeah, tension, all that, yeah. Headless monks were good, I like the sword things and their powers and stuff. Bad points, the Cybermen! They were in it for about a minute or two and there was really no point in them whatsoever really they could have done that with anything and said they just added the sound men basically so you get a bit of eye candy in the trailer basically so people go oh there'll be side men in that one we'll watch that when really there was nothing there that really peed me off because i thought there would be a cyber invasion or something in this that would actually because i really like side men that would really like make this a good thing um another thing is well the silorians still look the same and are crap i hate those silorians but I did like the Silurum with the samurai swords. I thought she was actually quite good and really heroic. I also like the Sontaran who died heroically. I was actually a little bit heartbroken. And the humour with that Sontaran. That was quite funny. The nurse. So yeah, that, that, that was good. But um, I, again, I don't like that woman. The eye patch woman. I don't really know why I don't like it. I just don't like her. It's the it's the way she acts. It's like a face. I don't like her face, which is which is really something that I, I'm blambering on about. Um, yeah. So, mm -hmm. the constant. Tons of villains in one thing is really getting on my nerves. Even though there weren't villains in this, the, it was really getting on my nerves. And it was terribly slow, the episode. And basically, to sum it all up, if, like, for example, you had to choose one episode of Doctor Who out of this series to watch so far, I wouldn't 
choose this one. It's good. It's it's quite good. I like it, but it isn't. It's still a let down, really. To be fair, I wasn't really expecting much anyway. It's it's predictable. It's slow. And the drama again, the pathetic drama, which basically makes it more drama than a sci-fi is in there. And it it's just annoying. So yeah, I'm going to give this a generous 6 out of 10. This is very a very difficult thing for me because, but yeah, six out of ten. Mhm. Mm Not as good as the pirate one. The pirate one has been the best episode, Curse of the Black Spot, best episode so far. But I gave it, I gave this episode a chance, and oh, uh, six out of ten. Another thing I would like to bring up while I'm on the videoing type of review thing. The Daleks being removed from Doctor Who for a while. I think this is a bad move because Daleks are the iconic villain of Doctor Who. And without them, Doctor Who is basically just Doctor Who and not Doctor Who with the Daleks, because when when someone thinks of the Doc Doctor Who, you will immediately think of Daleks. And there'll be some people that will probably be watching this. They'll be saying, "No, of course not." Well, basically, you people are just stupid. Yes, I've said it. You're stupid. Now, and I know not many of you watch the classic series. And I know some of you have just tuned in in series 5 and 6, or just series 6. And to be fair, if you haven't at least watched one classic series story in your life, I know this is a bit harsh, but I'm saying it now, you have no idea and you shouldn't criticise at all. And that's me saying something. I'm not saying anything more, but you can't criticise until you've watched some classic series Doctor Who's. Fair enough, some of you can, maybe, but to me it means nothing, it's irrelevant, I don't care. I really don't. Your, your opinions are a load of rubbish to me, I don't give a crap. Because you haven't watched classic series Doctor Who's. Eh, classic series Doctor Who's are crap. No, they're not, actually, because Series 5 and Series 6 are actually have some of the worst episodes I've seen. Some of the cla some of the black and white ones have done far, far better. And you can't even criticise a black and white one, because, to be fair, the acting is usually supposed to be immaculate, because black and white ones were filmed live and without outtakes. Thus, the acting had to be perfect. Thus... You can't criticise them for acting. So, yeah, I'm ranting a little bit, but I am right. Just a little bit right. So this is me over, and I'm also saying that really the Daleks should not be cancelled out of Doctor Who for this long period of time. And I think that eventually there will be an uproar or protest or something that will make Stephen Moffat put them back in. So yeah, final uh, summary, yeah, 6 out of 10 for Good Man Goes to War. And the next episode, which there's been no revealing of apart from the name, Kill Hitler, well, bit of a dodgy name, <laughs> might offend a few people. So yeah, I'm actually going to look forward to that because I want to see what they can do just by the title. So yeah, so yeah, so until next time, which will be in autumn, I'll 